All right, hello everyone, and this is our first test match uh, with Bugtron. This is a pretty good hand, so we're gonna keep. Uh, we're not gonna have Tron early, but we have a moment's peace just in case. A fierce empath to thin our deck a bit and get the Demon Robo Horror into our hand, and then Condescend. Um, looks like we're up against a control deck, so the moment's peace is all but just about dead. Unless it is, um, what is the name of that deck? Uh, the Blue Black Flicker deck. Drew the Echoing Truth, so that's not terrible. I decided there to play, um, the Untapped Land because I didn't want my opponent to play turn 3 Trading Rats, so. I'm going to play this Demir Signet. They countered it. We don't actually need it in play. Uh, except to get black, but we can always just... What the hell? <laughs> okay, I guess it is blue, black, flicker. We can always just draw a... Um... There you go, Prophetic Prism. Uh, I don't think Prophetic Prism is really all that needed, so I'm just going to play Fierce Empath for right now. And get the Horror out of my deck. And pass the turn. And we'll see what my opponent does. So, um, I didn't draw a land and I played Prophetic Prism and Bricked again. I was trying to pause so that you didn't hear the truck outside, but... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and counter this Mole Drifter. Drawing both Condescends kinda sucks. Uh, I don't want either of these cards. I really just want to get Tron online as quickly as possible. Just gonna take one. Since they have a Bone Splitter. Damn. Well, this is a bust. Um, guess we're just saying go. Hopefully they just tap out to cast another Mole Drifter. We'll see what happens. Main deck Relic of Progenitus. Wow. Okay. Main deck Relic of Progenitus. Um. I honestly had no idea that... Relic Progenitus was so good that it could be main decked. <laughs> um, so I'm going to block. The question is, do I want a Ghostly Flicker? The problem with going Ghostly Flicker is that if he plays a Chittering Rats, um, it, I'm kind of screwed on that front, but I think it's worth it anyway, just to, just to do it. I mean, if he wants to counter it, he can, and if he wants to kill this in response, he's more than welcome to, yep. Yeah. I figured that would happen. I'm just basically just paying three mana to cantrip and draw a card. Uh, sure. I'll remove the condescend. It's, I guess, the worst card. Damn. I got a fifth land one time. Alright. Well, it's not horrible. I can play another fierce empath. Doesn't really do anything, though. Um, I can play Mnemonic Wall and force the issue on the the Relic. I suppose that's not a bad idea. It lets me use all of my mana. And, um, gets the Relic out of the way. So, I can also block, so that's not a bad thing. And I suppose my opponent could have a Disfigure, but... I think I'm going to block anyway, since my mnemonic wall is not doing anything else. No oh, agony warp, sure. That's also the same thing. Crop rotation, huh? Um, okay. I'll go ahead and crop. Oh, I guess I shouldn't do that. Hold on. Wow, my phone F6. I apologize, it's early in the morning, so I guess all the trucks are out today. And my opponent... Apparently, my phone has six, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, play this Dinrova Horror, I think. Up oh, then, I have no black. Eh, I think it's fine. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, I'm just gonna bounce back there. Um, there, Demir Aqueduct. I think that's probably the best thing I can do. It sucks because. Well, Moments Peace is actually not bad against the- what the hell? 
What is my opponent playing? What? They were doing this good and also screwed on white? <laughs> wow. That is incredible. Um, anyway, the, the good thing about this card also is that it, it's, it has the color black. So it can't be Doombladed. And it needs two removal spells. Like it needs two Disfigures, two Agony Warps, anything like that to actually be dead. So that's a good thing. Uh, I like Resounding Scream. I like Dispel. I don't like Cop Blue here. I do like Pyroblast. I do like the other Horror. I don't think I like the other Wretched Griff. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what my opponent's playing. I'm going to take out the Echoing Truth. I don't think it's going to actually be very good. The only thing it's really going to do is deal with Relic of Progenitus. So I don't think that's going to amount to much. I think we can definitely shave down the moments pieces. I think one should be more than enough. And, uh... Hmm. No, Probe still seems good. I'm not really sure what to take out here. I could take out a Forbidden Alchemy. Because, like, because Pulse Marasa... Eh, I'll take out a Pulse Marasa. Because I'm going to take out Pulse Marasa, I don't think I'm going to need two. I don't think the life is going to matter all that much. And I don't think that Wretched Griff is actually very good, so I'm not bringing it in. Um, and I'm also inclined to think that one Pulse Marasa with the Mnemonic Wall kind of combination is going to be good enough. So there's that. Alright, I'm going to keep this hand. If, as long as my opponent doesn't counter my turn two Prophetic Prism. Uh, or destroy it, I guess. We should be okay. They mulligan to five. Not unhappy about that. Or as long as they don't like... Okay, well. As long as they don't like the rest of it or something, I suppose that's also the same thing. Uh, pretty happy, by the way, that my opponent scooped to me so quickly. Because... Contrary to belief, this deck actually takes a lot of time to get going. And... Oh, this turn's gonna be good. So, I'm going to sacrifice a piece of color to crop rotation away this land to get mine, and then cast Mole Drifter. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna draw more color anyway. Like that. And should be good. Ooh, opponent's divinationing. Well... This is going to be a very fun game. My opponent's getting pretty screwed. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Condescend. Alright, well, we'll play this. And I think I'll just leave up Condescend or Ghostly Flicker and then uh, leave it at that. Castigate? Yeah, Castigate. So, two. Um, Alright, I guess I'll try to counter it. So, just do this. I'm not going to do it for everything, just in case my opponent's playing, like, miscalculation or something stupid like that. There's just no point. Dispel's good, but I don't I don't need another... I don't need another, uh... Tron piece. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. All right. So, I could probe here. But I don't think I want to. I think I just want to play Mole Drifter. Oh, that was actually a bad play. Don't ever do that. I played my land before playing Mole Drifter, because now if I draw a tap land, um, I would have wanted to put the Thornwood Falls into play or Shimmering Grotto. You want as much color in play as possible. Uh, okay. That's fair. Maybe it's a Trinket deck. I don't know what my opponent's on. <laughs> I like the deck. I think it's really cool. Alright. Return this land, I assume. Yep. Gain a life. Gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna go see Flicker here. Uh, to draw two cards, to draw three cards. Hopefully, if my opponent doesn't have a removal spell, they do not. Resounding Scream. There we go. Oh, and the heart. Well, and a prism. Ladies and gentlemen, and a signet. Jesus. This is exactly what it means when you have it all. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. And then, I'm going to play Prophetic Prism. And then probably, wow, wow. So I could just strictly upgrade right now, and I think I will. Well, oh, oh, oh no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, 
I don't want to discard a card for free. Oh, actually, you know what? I can afford to discard the, the power plant. And the reason why is I'm not actually going to need it. Besides the fact that um, this actually gets polluted my or Bajuka box, so it's actually a lot more worth it than you think. And then I don't want to discard like Ghostly Fucking whatnot. Now, I could do this in my opponent's draw step, but I want them to play more cards before I actually do it. Like that. And now Bajuka Bog is pretty insane. As well as Probe, and my opponent's going to be living off the top. Which is going to be righteous. Playing another spell. Oh, that's not the spell I wanted them to play. But, alright, whatever. Yeah, you got it. So if we may play something stupid that doesn't draw them cards, but oh well. Uh, okay, so let's do this the correct way. We need red, and we need black, and then we need to cycle. Target player discards two cards at random. Wow, a third Chainer's Edict? I'm gonna get to Bajuka Bog away? Mother of God. Wait. Ooh, and I drew an island, too. I'm still going to probably sacrifice a Tron piece, but still. So, what I'm going to do here is, I think I can cast both of these. I have 11 mana, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, 3, 4, 5, and that, and then black. Let's go ahead and probe you. As bad as that sounded yeah yeah at that point my my opponent can't win i just have control over everything uh so yeah like just what you saw there was unfortunately my opponent had a really bad draw um for the deck that they were playing i have no idea what they were playing but they had a i could tell they had a pretty bad draw but also every single turn i am just destroying my opponent's hand or playing multiple spells to draw cards taking control of the game it's just gross and that's only one match so i'll see you guys back for test match number two stay tuned and thanks for watching